fun jacket. Yeah. Thank you. It's it so good. like just an occasion. So very fitting. Love that. Thank you. Thank you so much. How are you both doing today? Good. Good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. So first off, tell me, how excited are you for Dead Boy Detectives to finally premiere on Netflix? Oh, we've finally been waiting. We've been a long time. I'm so excited to be able to finally share it with people. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So Cassius, what would you say you enjoy the most about playing Crystal? Oh, I love her blunt sarcasm that she has as well. Like she's very, very blunt. And I find that quite funny to play. And mm-hmm. the tension that she has with um, Edwin. I think that's, oh. that's so fun. George and I get on really well. So we could kind of push that boundary, that like mm-hmm. hate, hate relationship, which I think is quite, uh, quite fun to play. For it's sure. like a tennis match. Watch oh, go back yeah. And we had a lot of fun with that. Awesome. And you, you, what would you say you enjoyed the most about playing Nico? Her sense of wonder is just fascinating. Getting to see the world through her eyes. I even found myself like moving around set and go- be going into rooms <laughs> that I shouldn't have, but just as Nico and people be like, okay. So I think That's she gets curiosity. Away. Yeah, yeah, she gets away with it. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, one of my favorite things about a TV series is seeing the on-screen chemistry be- between all of the characters. So when you two first met, was there just an instant connection? Oh, our first scene was like just in the yeah, doorway. Like, yeah, it was like in, the, the, in a doorway. You had like one line. I had one line to make an impression. Yeah, yeah. I think I even threw in, I like your jacket. You did. That's, yeah, you did. And it was like that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, poor girl. Like, poor. Um, no, that was the first time we'd kind of really met because we hadn't really had a chance to hang out we went to we went on a like a mountain day once it was not after was it we climbed a mountain oh, we didn't climb <laughs> it was such a good we didn't we climb climbed we mountain. climbed the mountain we went on the thing what is the it? gondola the gondola we went on yeah. that. It was nice so it was and there was instant chemistry between uh george and Jaden as well with you two Oh, yeah, for sure. They're just as weird and wonderful. Awesome, awesome. So what is something you are most excited for audiences to learn about Crystal and Nico? Ooh. I think Mm -hmm. everyone on on the show has their own unique, like, lane, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I love the metaphor that we're all just kind of walking on our own paths, but the way that we merge together and we all end up Mm -hmm. in the same journey I find that characters will end up choosing their fighter, if you will, and yeah. resonating with someone one way or another. Um, so I'm excited for them to meet us. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I think so as well. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I felt like I was going to speak over you, so I was like, well. <laughs> no worries, no worries. <laughs> well, not only is Dead Boy Detectives fun and whimsical, but it's full of spooky queerness as well. And it's been said over and over again that LGBTQ plus people truly resonate with the horror genre. Would you agree? Yeah, I think so. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, but I think so. Um, I think a lot of people resonate with it. It's a it's a really interesting genre to occupy, and I think with this show, we have that horror element. Mm-hmm. We have the like dark comedy element as well, which I think is quite good. And then we have like serious, fantasy, yeah, fantasy, and, and then like serious yeah. like subjects. So it's a nice way to like an interesting angle i think to showcase certain yeah. things i feel like our show serves as a vehicle to go through so many intense emotions yeah, that yeah. i think we all go through in life and it's it's a fun journey against the backdrop of the whimsical mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um but we touch it a lot of you know we touch a lot of heartstrings and yeah, i think, I think so. fans will enjoy that perfect I, go ahead go ahead sorry no i hope they enjoy so uh, which episode was your absolute favorite the film? Do you have one? Oh, yeah. 107, episode seven, hands down. Okay. Okay. Can you give us a little sneak peek as to why? Because I think that's that's got the horror in it, I okay. think, I would say. Um, mm-hmm. Layered, layered, layered. Layered, layered, layered. layered, layered, layered. layered. Yeah. Layered. layers, perfect. Well, lastly, what do you ultimately hope audiences take away from Dead Boy Detectives? Oh, whatever they want I think the show opens itself up to be taken like any way it Mm -hmm. it doesn't take itself too seriously it calls itself out on the bizarreness it leans into the horror it leans out of it and then into something else and it's like a a little roller coaster so I kind of I the thing I like about a series is that it can keep people company it can live alongside them for a bit longer than a movie so I hope Mm. it can keep people company for a bit it's also mm-hmm. like a reflection of our time. It's modern, you know, we have some, we're, it's so genre bending that I feel like it'll serve everybody their cup mm-hmm. of tea. 
Mm-hmm. I would love that little British spin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 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 it's too much time off, is not it? Love it, love it. May I take a screenshot for social media? Oh, yes. One, two, three. Perfect. Cassius, uh, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Bye.